Every individual who supports the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund should know that they're making a difference daily in the lives of the service members and their families by their support. It's, it's people, people like you that reassure people like myself and other veterans why we did what we did. The Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund, a nonprofit organization, provides a way for the American people to give back to severely wounded veterans and their families. Today, the fund is dedicated to battling the invisible wounds of war, traumatic brain injuries, and psychological health conditions. These debilitating injuries affect thousands of returning veterans, many of whom are left undiagnosed, untreated, and unable to live out a normal life. I didn't really think anything of the injuries. I didn't, I didn't feel like there was anything wrong. I didn't lose consciousness or anything like that. Came back and uh, over time, things started to manifest. I was uh, isolating myself, you know, startled easily, afraid to go out in crowds, crossing streets without stopping. I, I had a lot of built up anger and, and uh, I, I started coming home and, and uh, taking it out on, on you know, my loved ones. Yeah, I did some terrible things that I'm not proud of, said some awful things and did put her in some terrible situations. And, you know, I had no clue what was going on. He was, I mean, he was never a violent person to me. It was just, in general, he just would get angry. And so in that moment, he was not himself. He grabbed his gun and he was holding it up to his head. And I was just like, think of what you're doing. Like, this is not, this is over going to get ice cream. You know, it's not like a life or death thing. Like this is, this is too much. It just clicked one day and, and that's, I'm like, man, I, I cannot believe I'm blowing up about such minutia. That's, that's when I, I needed to get help. Until I got the care at the Intrepid Spirit Center, there were some things I didn't even know were wrong with me. When I went into the, the NICO, I had two diagnoses. I had PTS and I had traumatic brain injury. I left and I think I had 27. Now, a lot of people may think that's, oh my God, that's terrible. But ultimately, it was one of the best things that's ever happened to me. Because not only now did I have 27 problems, but I had solutions. It was at least 10 years worth of medical treatment in the four weeks being there. You know, because they had all my care and all my providers under one roof, I felt safe there, I felt secure with them. And as a result, I was able to get, you know, the, the care that I needed. He's expressing to others how important it is to get help and that there's no stigma. It's actually a sign of strength to get help. It's nice to see the person that he was, who I met and who his family knows to be back again after this treatment. It's amazing, it's a complete 180 and it's just, it's nice to have him back. <laughs> it changed our lives. It saved our marriage, most definitely. And I think it might have saved his life. These are the happy endings, but there are still hundreds of thousands of stories left unresolved. In an effort to treat a larger number of patients, the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund is dedicated to building intrepid spirit centers at military installations across the country. These state-of-the-art treatment facilities will bring this urgently needed care directly to the homes of our troops. Several centers are open and operational, yet the demand for care is driving the need for future locations with the hope of reaching each and every service member struggling with these injuries. It's important to get the Intrepid Spirit Centers built throughout the country so, so that more service members have the opportunity to, to get the same type of treatment that I got. You can't put a price on not having to go out anywhere for that care, that it's right there on these major installations where the, the service member um, lives, works, and his family is at. The people who, who give to these centers, they're just changing lives. 
22 veterans a day are committing suicide. I'm not one of them. And there's a reason for that. And it's because of the treatment that I've received at these centers. You know, I'm a big part of my kids' lives now where I've seen them change a lot in the past couple of years. So I'm, I'm glad I'm around. I'm glad to be part of it. The support that everyone out there uh, gives to the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund, you can't see it other than the building but in the minds and the lives of the service members and their families, it just opens up their lives again and gives them hope. People call Bob a hero, and I agree. He's my hero, he's, he's an American hero. But the Spirit Center is our hero. Without them, I don't know, and I don't even want to think about where we would be.